Hello everyone, this is Yavin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can integrate a HTML template in your Laravel project. So from here I am going to download my template. But first, let's go and create a fresh Laravel project. So I will show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, let's go and create a project. So let's say we will create a project in my new volume app. So here, first of all, we need to open a command prompt here. So we will say here CMD and we will write the command Laravel new and let's say our project name will be laravel practice then we'll press enter so it will create a fresh laravel project for us so right now i'll just fast forward the video so here you can see our project creation is complete and uh, here you can see our project laravel practice so right now in the command prompt we need to go to this project location so here uh, in, in order to go to the project location we need to say here cd laravel practice and if we now press enter, here you can see we are currently in the project directory. So we can just run our project. We'll say here PSP artisan serve. And our project is running. So let me just copy this and we'll now go to our browser and paste it over here. Press enter. And there you can see this is our freshly created Laravel project. So right now we want to integrate a template in our Laravel project. So for it, first of all, we need to download a template. So from here, this template mo.com will download a template so uh, i already choose a template i am going to download this template so we'll just click on this template and here you can see this is how our template will look so let me just show you the demo here you can see live view if you now click live view so this is how our template will look once we integrate our template in our laravel project okay so uh, let's go back and here you can see the download option so i'll also give this template link in the description if you want to use this template as your practice so here right now we click download and it will start downloading here you can see it is downloading it will download a zip file and you can see the download is complete so let's go to the file location we we'll just click on this file icon and here you can see so right now let me just cut this from here and let's just paste it in my new volume f over here and first of all, we need to extract our download folder. So we we'll just right click on this zip file and here you can see extract all. We we'll click extract all and then click extract. So this will extract our folder, this folder, okay. So let me just close this. So here you can see this is the extract folder. So right now what we need to do is that we need to go inside this folder and then we'll go inside again and here you can see we have few files and folder so we'll just copy everything from this template so we say ctrl c or click on this copy option copy and then we'll just go back and we'll go to our project location so uh, we create a project called laravel practice this one so we'll go inside the project so this is our laravel project and then we'll go inside the public folder so let's go inside the public and we'll just paste the file and folder that we just copied from the template so we just paste it over here control v and it will paste everything over here so right now let's go and open our project using a code editor so you can use visual studio code or sublime text so i'll use visual studio code so we'll just go to file then open folder and then go to new volume f and there you can see Laravel practice folder over here. So now just select folder. So these are project and if you go inside the public folder, here you can see asset, vendor and some HTML code that we just copied from the template. So right now in order to integrate the template in our Laravel project, first of all, we need to create a controller to call our different pages. Okay, so let's go to our command prompt again so we can just stop the project from running or we can just open another command prompt so let me just uh, go to the project directory so here you can see laravel practice this is our project so here we'll say cmd so it will open another command prompt and here first of all we'll create a controller so we're going to write a command which is psp artisan make controller let's say our controller name will be template controller then press enter so it will create a controller for us here you can see controller is created so right now if we just go to our code over here you can see app then http inside http we have controller and inside controller here you can see template controller so a controller is created 
So right now, let's just go to our uh, resources. Here you can see resources. So inside resource, you will see views and inside views, we have welcome.wait.php. So this is uh, this welcome.wait.php is basically this one, whatever you are seeing. So uh, here in the views, we are going to create a folder here. So we'll just right click on it and then click new folder and let's our folder name will be front end. Press enter. So inside this font and folder, we're going to create two files. So one will be master.blade.php. So we see our here master.blade.php, control S and save. And we we'll create one more file and uh, that will be home.blade.php. So again, we'll just right click on the font and folder and then click new file. And we're going to say here home.blade.php. So control S and then save. So in the home, let's just over here H on, let's say here HTML template. So first of all, we'll return a view to the home.blade.php. So in order to return the view to the home.blade.php, we need to go to routes, then web.php. And in the web.php, we're going to see over here, route, double clone, get to first bracket, to single quotation, and let's see over here, slash home. Then we we'll give a comma word here, then to third bracket, then we are going to show here template controller about clone class, comma, we'll give to single position. Let's say we need to give a function name, let's say it will be index. We need to do one more thing, and that is we need to mention this template controller at the top of our web.php. So we are going to show here use app backslash http backslash controllers backslash template controller so right now we have access to our template controller in the web.php so right now we need to go to our uh, template controller and create a function called index so let's go to our app then http controller and template controller so here we're going to say public function index then to first bracket to second bracket and from here we'll return a view we'll say here return view to first bracket to single quotation and here you can see uh, home.blade.php we want to show the view home.blade.php this one so uh, our home.blade.php is in inside the front end folder so we are going to show here front end dot home so now let's set this here then here and here as well and uh, we'll go to our browser let's just refresh Obviously, it will show nothing because our URL in the web.php is slash home. So we need to write this in the URL. So we are going to say here slash home, then press enter. And there you can see HTML template. And this text is coming from the uh, home.blade.php from here. So right now, uh, if you do not on to write slash home, then what you can do is that uh, let's go to web.php. Let's just remove this route get function welcome and instead of slash home we can just right now give slash save it and if we just remove the slash home from here press enter it will return us this view okay so right now we haven't done anything uh, related to template so right now we are going to do that part integrate template so for it first of all we need to go to our uh, let me just show you we need to go to our public folder here you can see we have our public folder so we will go inside the public and inside the public folder here you can see index.html so whenever you download a template everything start from the index.html just remember that always uh, remember everything start from the index.html so here you can see index.html so right now we are just going to copy everything from here so we will say ctrl a then we will press ctrl c and right now we are going to paste everything let's say inside the master.blade.php so control v and then control s then if we just refresh here it will show us nothing because it is in the master.blade.php not in the home.blade.php so right now we will just write one thing in the home.blade.php and it will let us uh, inherit everything in the master.blade.php so we are going to start here at the end of extends to first bracket to single quotation we are going to say over here front end dot master so master dot blade dot php is inside the front end folder so right now if we just save this then if we now refresh here 
and there you can see we can see our template properly so there you can see everything is showing us properly so right now let me just show you a few more things so here you can see we have our footer part over here you can see copyright at the top 2022 so we'll just remove this part for now so let's go to our code and we'll go to our master.blade.php and here uh, so here you can see the footer was started from here so we'll just cut this from here so we'll press over here control x or you can just directly cut from here like this and we'll just keep this equal sign over here then we'll save this then if we just refresh right now the footer part will be missing there you can see there is no footer part instead of footer there is the equal sign as you can see now what we are going to do is that I'm going to show you how to use yield in template here instead of this equal we are going to say here at the end of yield y i e l d we'll give to first bracket to single quotation and inside it we are going to say here footer we'll set this here then we'll go to our home.blade.php and in the home.blade.php we are going to say at the end of section to first bracket to single quotation we'll say here footer so here this footer is basically this one and then so we also need to in this section so here we also say here at the end of in section and whatever we just copy it from this footer section we'll just paste it here inside this section footer so we'll just paste it here and there you can see now we'll have access to the footer code from the master right now if we just save this here and here we'll be able to see the footer part in our browser so right now let's go back to our browser let's just refresh okay before refresh there gets there's the footer let's refresh then let's go down and there you can see the footer portion is back so there is one more way to do this uh, let's say we will remove this testimonial section and let me just show you let's go to our master.blade.php and i think this is the testimonial section here you can see it is written over here testimonials so we'll just cut this section from here we'll cut this section so we'll just cut this from here and stop this here let's just give a equal sign let's save this this let's refresh go down there you can see that the testimonial section is now missing and instead of that we have this equal so right now i'm going to show you how to use include in template integration so here uh, instead of this we are going to say at the end of include to first bracket to single quotation let's say uh, front end dot testimonial so right now what we need to do is that in the font end folder we need to create a blade file called testimonial.blade.php so here in the font end we'll just take a new file so we we'll say here testimonial.blade.php control s and then save so whatever code we just copy it uh, from the testimonial uh, section we are just going to paste it in the testimonial.blade.php here okay so we'll just paste the code here then we'll save it so what will happen is that whatever code we have in the testimonial.blade.php will have access in the uh, master.blade.php over here in this location okay since we write over here uh, include fontaine.testimonial so save this then refresh here and there you can see that testimonial part is back so this is how you can integrate a statement template in laravel i hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you have any question or if you face any problem you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want to create an e-commerce project using laravel then you can already see a video on the skin where i explain how you can create an e-commerce project easily in laravel or if you want to create a basic project you will see that in the skin as well so if you want you can check them out to increase your skill on laravel so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe i hope to see you in the future tutorials